Well, hey guys, welcome back. Today I'll be showing you how I created this fall wheelbarrow decorative piece. This could be used as a centerpiece, front door decor, it really has endless possibilities, but either way, it's beautiful and I love it and it's one of my favorites. To create this piece, you'll need a glue gun and some glue sticks, a pair of wire cutters, some floral foam, adornments of your choosing and florals of your choosing as well as a wheelbarrow of course. I actually picked up this beautiful rustic wheelbarrow last season in the Michaels Spring clearance section. It was originally $25 and I paid just $5 for it, which I thought was a steal. We'll begin by filling our wheelbarrow with some floral foam. I'm actually using these remnants from previous projects as is probably evident by all the holes you can see. I recycle everything I can, you guys. Now just start placing your floral foam inside the wheelbarrow. This doesn't have to be perfect. It just has to fit fairly snugly in there and I usually end up piecing my floral foam together because I actually do end up using remnants most of the time, as you'll likely see if you watch uh, many of my videos. Once our wheelbarrow has enough foam to fit snugly, you can use some hot glue to secure it in there. I won't be doing that since I intend to utilize this same wheelbarrow, changing the decor with seasonal creations. So I want to be able to remove this floral section when it's time to fill it with my Christmas decor. For this project, I'll be using these mum picks as the main flowers, so we'll be adding those in first. And I'm going to cut all these flowers off of the main stem or branch and add them individually so they'll be more evenly dispersed throughout the wheelbarrow. I like to start by adding in the flower picks at each corner, setting them at an angle so they look as though they're growing out of the wheelbarrow, reaching for the sun. Then I start adding them into the gaps in between those first four flowers. And then I'll continue adding in more flowers, moving from the outside in, being sure to create a full bouquet, but not overwhelming the wheelbarrow, and leaving room for our fillers, which add lots of variety and interest. Try to keep things balanced by ensuring your flowers don't end up in clusters, but are evenly dispersed throughout the body of the wheelbarrow. I love these little mum picks so much, you guys. Just look at how full and pretty that is. I love how much movement there is in those petals, which is why I often choose these picks to use in my projects. It's as if they're being moved kind of by a light breeze. I just love these. Now I'm gonna be filling in the rest of the flowers, looking for gaps and filling in those gaps accordingly. I really like for my floral centerpieces and decor to be really full and robust. So now I'm adding in the mini mums. I really love the free flowing kind of dainty appearance of these little flowers so much and I use them often. So I'm going to push all those leaves up as usual toward the flowers to be sure that bit of green peeks through. And then I'll cut these at the base of the main branch. And so these I'll also be placing individually throughout the arrangement to provide that illusion of a movement. Having some flowers in different locations throughout the arrangement keeps the eyes from focusing on any one item, thus keeping the eyes moving and providing not only continuity, but also the illusion of movement. Let's add some colorful, bright leaves, you guys. These just make me really, really happy. Again, we'll be cutting these down at the base of the main branch. 
I like to keep things kind of around the same height in an arrangement like this, just tapering them off slightly as they graduate out toward the edges. I want the leaves toward the bottom area of the wheelbarrow, kind of cascading down the sides as if the wheelbarrow has been sitting outside while the leaves were falling and the flowers just found their way through while reaching for the sun. And don't worry about any voids yet because we'll be filling those in. For now we'll just keep adding these leaves around the base and edges. And I want there to be a kind of tail-like appearance off the open back end of the wheelbarrow. Now we'll just keep adding in the leaves, filling in some of those larger gaps that remain. We're going for a full rounded effect, tapering off at the front and back and a little bit on the sides as well. So now let's add in our fillers of interest. These are what I consider the florals that provide a nice contrast in both shape and size and sometimes color as well. We'll be adding in these wheat picks for that purpose and again cutting the stems off at the main branch. You're just going to add these in wherever you see a gap but be sure to maintain symmetry by being cognizant that their placement is somewhat evenly spaced so the eye isn't drawn to just one area. Just look at all that gorgeous movement, you guys. I love it so much. Such a simple fall DIY, but the colors, the movement of this piece just make me so happy. Alright, let's finish this up and add in our squash. Here you can add whatever adornments you'd like, pumpkins, acorns, squash varieties, anything you want really. I'll just tuck these in wherever they seem to fit best. That's usually wherever there needs to be more bulk added or to fill in any sparse areas. I also decided to add in these little boxwood picks from Target Dollar Spot. I only have three of these, so I'll place one on each side except the front, which is nice and full already, so they're really not needed there. Then I'm going to fill in any remaining gaps or voids using a few more of these beautiful mini mums. And now I'm just adding a few of these glitter pumpkin picks in the large and also a few in the small.
Now, I didn't like how the rear area of our wheelbarrow seemed kind of cut off, so I'm adding a few of these mini mums cascading off the back, providing a little extension of our florals, as if the wheelbarrow is so full these flowers are almost falling off the back. Guys, there's so much more you could add to this wheelbarrow, but I like its simplicity and so that includes this tutorial of this fall wheelbarrow decor. I really hope you've enjoyed this video and I hope you found it helpful. Please give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe, being sure to click on that bell so you never miss a future video. I really appreciate you guys taking time out of your busy day to spend this time with me. Thank you so much for watching my friends and have a beautiful day. You got me spinning out of context Not really sure what I should do